Oh yeah, the KV is 76 mil. Hello, welcome back to another round of For Gun Nope 2. We are on Kharkov Outskirts and we're playing this map in the memorial event. And in this event we are uh, commemorating developers that are no longer with us, like Armin Ace, Chad, Engineer and Rad. And it's because if these guys were not making stuff for Bugana in the past, then we wouldn't be playing this right now, this mod in its entirety. Because they not only made a lot of vehicles, maps and statics, but they also inspired other people to mod. So... Oh, this is Conquest. It's totally open. Okay, let's watch for... Flankers, then. Yeah, and Armin Ace especially obviously had a huge impact on the development of Forgotten Hope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can't be understated for sure. Uh, these these maps uh, were absolutely a joy when they first came out, and uh, just to see a remake of any kind on them is uh, is quite something. Definitely brings you back. Yeah, I feel very much early zeros now. I remember this had a very gritty uh, lighting atmosphere. I think TS Forever uh, kind of lightened up the mood a little bit with the lighting from the original, but uh, Whoa. still a good, good map to uh, play. Oh, it's dead. It's just lovely to see a uh, tank approach, and then you think, oh my god, this is my last hour, and then boom. That was a stuk. I should have killed it in one grenade though. But, uh. I'm using a uh, one of these large rock outcroppings as a section here, and I think I might have a really good spot. I don't know if that's why they're here. Uh, 90 more tanks in base, really? Okay. Does anyone know what the story is behind these large rock outcroppings? Were they made as obstacles by the Russians to no, I have no bottleneck, idea. or is this the mapper's interpretation of the terrain? Oh yeah! Wow, driving around in this base, so this brings back so many memories. This is unbelievable. There was, by the way, a Kharkov Outskirts remake in the making before. And I've been playing that in uh, tests, but it got never released. Wait, I thought that was this map. Yeah, it's this map. Yeah. But, um... Um, it, it looked different. And uh, there was also a King of the Hill tank mode on it. Yep, this, this has the 32 player layer as well. Oh, really? Okay. Yep, this is it. This is the same version. It's just now it's a little bit of a play. <laughs> I totally and, uh, didn't yeah. recognize it when I pulled it covered. No, no, yeah, you're you're right. You're right. It's, uh, it's been a while and, uh, you know, I remember a uh, long time ago beta testing before the Russians were even released and, and trying this map out a couple times. And at that point, you know, Tester, like, oh man, I wonder what's gonna really take to get the Russians out. Valley and, rubble uh, pile. <laughs> yeah, that's the really great thing about FH2 is that uh, these, these challenges of getting another team implemented to the mod have come up, and the team has risen time and time again to get a release out and a quality release for that matter. with the French, you know, publicly announced and stuff like that, uh, you know, just... It'll be really great to see yet another faction released for the game. Yeah, France 94 is gonna be a blast. No pun intended, of course. I think these uh, rock boulder thingies were just... Uh, we 
were not really put there by men, but uh, they are just uh, You can have these uh, natural oh, rock formations where you um, where you have rows of stones just uh, Oh. And the third in it, where are we going for it? Crossroads. Yeah, Kharkov especially uh, is uh, very one of one of those very interesting Eastern Front campaigns where you know a major Russian city was uh, subject of what four major battles. Mm, yeah, it was. Um First, it was uh, taken by the Germans in 1942, and then it was uh, uh, retaken by the Soviets in the winter. And then in the next spring, the Germans took it again, and then the Soviets took it again in, I think it was 1944. Was there a fight for that last final yeah. retake? There was, so the Germans did not just abandon it and fall back to their point. They no, they I think there held was. Held one last uh, time. I think there was a fight for each one of them, but I'm not really sure. Yeah, because sometimes, of course, when we're speaking of a battle of something, it can be generically speaking to an area versus an actual city. Like Rajev is a really good example. The city was completely destroyed, but there actually really was no major battle in that location. It was all around the city. Yeah, a very swampy area. Around Richard. There's even a poem about it by a Soviet uh, Red Army. Um, I think it was a journalist. Yeah, and I started doing a lot of research on it personally because uh, their campaign really interested me, and I started mapping out a, uh, a town on the Volga. And then I, the more I read and read and read, the more I realized that really the battle was not really inside the city at all. So. I kind of scrapped my plan, and then when I saw GS Forever working on his project, I was like, okay, well, uh, maybe he's got it covered then. Can we get the Valentines here, the Lend These Valentines? Yeah, it's a great detail. It's probably something that uh, a lot of games would shy away from as far as adding, uh, but in my opinion, it's just one of those really cool things about FH2 where this is historical and uh, it's a nice addition to the... Chancellor, you've got one there. You can trade behind you. Uh, infantry. In the ditch, probably. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see him. Got him. Oh, it was Ashton. Ashton. This Ooh. is going to be a, a battle of stamina for the Russians because they have a lot of ground to cover to maintain the front with tanks. Yeah, but you can just camp in the edge rows and <laughs> pick up the German tanks quite well. So, yeah, as far as I understand it, the, uh, earlier in the day that the, the Germans actually won this map a couple times. So, beef. Whoa! Hopefully we don't have any technical down. issues this time. I don't know, I only played it once before and uh, we won as Russians. So. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, maybe I got it backwards. I don't know, but it's possible that it may have been on a couple more times. Oh fuck, I missed it! But I got it. But I'm gonna be dead soon. Yeah. We've got fucking Panzer 3 against ISU LOL. Well, uh. Deal with it. 
we've got fucking people for against Tiger Law. <laughs> Impeach this man. <laughs> Nah, I kind of miss the guy. Then again, I'm not an American, so yeah, I don't have to be with him. You don't have, <laughs> have to wake up every day. Not yeah. know whether I'm yeah. going to war with another country. It's a lot easier to miss him when you're on this yeah. side of the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, you know, I mean, he was a couple of weeks the into the presidency, uh, American Democrats were like, "Where's Bush?" Yeah. We get yeah. pushed back. Yeah, that's they started something loving you, George you would W. Never Bush. actually hear in your life again. We're like, yeah, can we get a real Republican back, please? Yeah, the same uh, stuff has been happening over here uh, with uh, populist uh, politicians. And there was a. Uh, there. The, it, it started with one guy. Um, who was stirring the, the pot in the in parliament and uh, back then he was really uh, shunned for it in the, by the public you can't say stuff like that and uh, and now uh, he's almost a saint compared to what uh, some politicians are shouting today I'm glad at least you guys can recognize that then again, you know, if I, you say that, I kind of miss the guy, but then again, I'm not, a, I'm not American, that's, that's uh, really funny. Well, I mean... <laughs> yeah, that's going to make my day, I'm going to tell somebody that I heard that from a couple of Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> Ferdinand got me. Why am I there, Bob? Well, Bob is secretly with us. Hey. Uh oh, looks like uh, Kolkosi is going down. Kolkosi. That's yeah, uh, what he said. It's collective uh, fun. Uh, oh, is that what that means? Yeah. Oh, okay. And there were, uh, well, there were big ones, like the Kolkhozi, and there were superbly giant ass ones. They were called Sopkhozi. Oh, okay, yeah, I got the tiger. Okay. You got the tiger? With what? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, with the KB. But he was on fire. So ah, okay, nice. Probably stole someone's kill. The sounds are also very disappointing in my opinion. I was playing it for uh, on, uh, on a free weekend, and then um, I was attacking a flag as an American, and then I heard a sound, and I was like, "Oh, uh, that must be something like uh, a helmet or something approaching." But um, the, the volume and the pace, and everything pointed me into that direction. And it turned out to be a tiger. So it was kind of Yeah, the sounds are kinda of weak. Yeah. And that's that's where post-scripting shines because the sounds oh, are sure, yeah. are great. It's like you're in a yeah, war. They're on meeting. another level. Yeah, they're on the le another level for sure. I don't know where they dug up the sound guy for for that game, but then he may get some sort of award. Yeah. Yeah, it's for super sounds unfortunate tonight. that he is not working for PS anymore. Well, he's whatever next team he's working on is definitely going to be lucky to get him. But um, the point is that, you know, I just, 
that's what I love about FH2 so much is just having those uh, historical tank loadouts, historical weapon loadouts, and not just trying to make a balanced game, but actually getting in historical assets and also trying to make a balanced game with. Yeah, yeah it's kind of ruining not other just a World War II games for me, though. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know. You keep thinking that someone's going to come along and. Get the thought, sheer amount of was, content to this game. I thought that maybe was kind of going to be the Hell at Loose, in a way, or postscript, postscript for the better, but then they released the French content, and uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the French and content. And then the those games like, aren't good. Yeah, some character and stuff, and uh, yeah, pass. <laughs> you're just like, you just go, man, like, if they could only get together like Forgotten Hope 2 does. You know what I mean? And uh, it's just a testament to the game. Maybe it's only something that a group of modders can pull off because uh, a dev team that's trying to sell copies just, yeah. for whatever reason, doesn't want to make that, that kind of undertaking. Yeah, but I really dig it that uh, Hell of Blues uh, made Purple Heart Lane and that they, uh, that they uh, published uh, a news item about it in which they referred to Forgotten Hope yeah, and then they put Chairman's on it and Tiger and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of insulting. <laughs> yeah, but they're, again, you know, they're just, they're just trying to, like, allow yeah. people to play tanks with them, like, medium and heavy. Yeah, and, I understand. The and then you're like, ah, if only they did it, the uh, Forgotten Hope way. Yeah, so, I mean... Forgotten Hope 2 devs, uh, thank you for this beautiful map. Now we're going to fuck it up <laughs> with historical <laughs> inaccuracy. <laughs> But still, it was a nice gesture from them that they actually yeah, sure. mentioned us and that... Um, and, and actually, I have met uh, several people who used to play Ghana 2 in, in post I just recognized their nicknames and uh, because you have this... Uh, you have this uh, voice... Uh, a nearby voice uh, thing in uh, in postscriptum. It was right, uh, the, the, I was just the localized talking, voice. I was, yeah, I just asked, "Hey, aren't you that guy that used to play Ghana too?" Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of kind of hard to miss people in this game for sure. It's a small community, but it is a good one. Oh, yeah, that was about to happen. One thing about popping smoke is you're announcing where you are. <laughs> A tank. So it's infantry, it's pretty impossible that it's something else. So, Slayer, maybe you can tell me about the OT 34, model 1941? Uh, the Flame uh, T 34. I actually have no idea when cylinder. they. Uh, yeah? But the OT is the Flame one. Uh, no, I'm in the OT-34 right now, and it has just got a... Open the second seat. Oh, is that... Oh, well, I'll be down. All right. I'm just going to take it back. <laughs> it's uh, the same as the Churchill Club. Okay. didn't realize that. Maybe I might go in for a little close, closer quarters action here with them knowing that I have a flamethrower to hop in. Third in is going south for the cost of it. Oh, he is still there. Yep. Oh 
category, the Ferdinand's back out. I remember the first time I saw the Ferdinand uh, I killed the, the dude in this one. Yeah. Benito. Sometimes you wonder how the Russians did it against uh, a tank like a Ferdinand. And Wow, I finally died <laughs> after 22 minutes. Good job, soldier! Then again, I only killed eight people, so... <laughs> There was a squad around here, but I killed four dudes. So let's see if it's safe now. Give them two flags. Well, despite uh, despite the kind of uh, Russian dominance here, I'm having Holy fun. Then again, I'm on the Russian team, so. Puma mm -hmm. actually <laughs> broke through. Oh, well, it's not a Puma, but. I think that uh, the. The team team's going to be successful on this, they got to make a really early break for one flag and really hold on to it. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, by the time I bring the next tank to the front, it will be over, so I'm spawning his infantry for the last bit. Boom. <laughs> it's a slaughter. Glorious. Payback for the first, second and third battle. Arkov. Tiger. Oh uh, man, I just keep seeing tank after tank coming out of the German base just getting pelted with rounds from every direction. Just Boom. Yeah, a burning German tank, a fitting image to portray this round. And to end up in a diagonal position looking at a windmill. That uh, was a bit one-sided in my humble opinion because the Germans captured one flag but then lost it again and then just stomped against our steel defenses. That's it for this round, hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and have a nice day.